everyone welcome to my youtube channel simply way to learn energy analysis and arch tip in this tutorial i'm planning to cover um, different ways to add schedules as you know we uh, in a in the last tutorial we talked we can add schedules after uh, setups or we can add it schedules before programming uh, for the first way, you just, you just need to uh, use a model component and add all uh, model objects to the model component. First, but today, I'm going to uh, show you different ways to add a schedules. So let's go uh, to disconnect the schedules uh, and add the new uh, schedules before programming. You need to disconnect uh, all of these parts. As always told, it is important to organize your work. Because it's not only helps you to have a, a, a better visual uh, canvas, but also helps you to categorize your work and organize uh, your work better. So it, later you have a problem, you can easily come back, find and correct it. Please always name your com uh, your uh, component. For example, it's just classroom. It is for conference room or something like that let's a little bit uh, may uh, let's make a little bit of space uh, for uh, schedules So, as we talk, we have different ways to add uh, programming. You need, if you want to uh, find uh, how we can add the programming, you need to come back on uh, previous tutorials. Uh, on the programming part tutorials, I explain how you can add uh, programming and uh, you can find different ways to add programming. If you want to add uh, schedules before program, you need to use option one. Let's go show. Sure. You need to add all of these components to program uh, HP program uh, component. And also you need to uh, later add all of uh, required documents uh, for these uh, series uh, components that connect to for a HP, uh, HP program component. Let's go to make a copy of this. A little bit clean. to add numbers for each one so as you can see we have occupancy schedule we can go back on uh, this component and just copy and paste the schedule programming we wrote before uh, schedule programming we just now, uh, now just copy and paste and add it to the uh, HP people component Great. Okay. 
added the required numbers and it's completely depends on your project for example for this project i added these numbers As you can see we have a uh, lighting schedule we, we only need to copy paste a uh, lighting schedule that we wrote before you can add all of this number according to a project for example for this project i use this number but uh, probably you have another way uh, another uh, numbers uh, according to your projects just need to copy paste the written uh, schedules. Oh, that's great. For other, for example, for equipment, uh, uh, a schedule for uh, hot water, for uh, ventilation, infiltration component, you need to add the numbers and a schedule separately. But always, uh, I suggest you, strongly suggest you to add name on your component. Because later, if you have any problem, you can just come back and find which problem, which part you have and need to correct it or think about that or uh, rewrite about that. For equipment, just add it. If you have any problem uh, or no, uh, or you don't know what's the num uh, the requested number, or you ca you can just you know uh, just keep your uh, mouse on uh, uh, text, and you can find what's the meaning of each part. Completely, for example, this number completely came back on your project. For example, for that one, I choose uh, this number because it's uh, my building uh, works with this number. But it's completely de depend on the buildings that you are working on it and you are planning to uh, have energy analysis of that. You don't have any, uh, for example, hot water in that place. You don't need uh, added it, uh, any numbers, and even you can, you know, disconnect uh, this part from the programming HP programming uh, component. So it's completely and up to your building. Uh, please be careful. Uh, there is no need to always uh, fill all of this component. It's completely. Uh, depends on your project. Can uh, define a uh, for this project. Uh, 
Uh, as we talked before, we have two ways to add uh, programming. Uh, one way uh, using the default uh, component, and another way, uh, way is using the uh, programming component. So you can have mix of them. For example, you can add in some uh, places, you can add uh, uh, default programming, uh, like bathroom, because you don't have any schedule. Or you can add option one uh, using a, a programming, a HP programming component. It's completely up to you. So let's to add a schedules. Uh, as we talk, we uh, wrote uh, we uh, wrote uh, schedules before. We just need copy and paste, and add it to the new uh, way of adding schedules to programming. Uh, it's completely up to you. You can change it according to the rooms and the buildings that you are working on it. So. Let's to do that. Heating and cooling schedule. We can define the humidity set point and the humidity set point as well. Uh, so this part, this part, uh, it seems completed. Uh, so let's go to little bit organize it. As we talk, it is the default one, and this is the uh, uh, option one programming components. Uh, as you can see, for a bathroom, uh, I prefer to keep the default one because uh, we don't have any scheduling to add to the programming. So it's up to you to use just a uh, uh, default uh, option uh, for a component for uh, uh, programming because we don't have any schedule for uh, for uh, bathroom but for classrooms uh, for uh, conference can add uh, the new process a new component uh, programming pro pro components it's completely up to you for example this is uh, by default that we can search the name of the room and then add it, uh, you know, uh, scheduling and programming, uh, but no, uh, we don't, for example, need to have uh, any schedules for bathroom. So we can use the default programming component. So let's be a little bit clean up, make more visually better the process that you can recognize which part is a schedule, which part is a programming. So this part for scheduling and this part for programming. Let's go to add all of these uh, process for all uh, required room, for example, classroom. Um, conference rooms, uh, kitchen, and others. So for the last, uh, you know, part uh, for uh, uh, later, I will explain you uh, how you can add loads and HVAC system to the process. It's uh, for uh, next tutorials. But now let's to just add it, uh, programming. Uh, to our process, programming and scheduling uh, together in our process. For example, this is office, conference room, and so we can just add it the conference room because we wrote this uh, 
uh, combined uh, programming and scheduling for conference room number one. So we can use this uh, pro combined programming and scheduling uh, to conference uh, number two as well because it's the same because we are um, you know this is for this project they are uh, have a they have the same scheduling and programming so that's great you can save a lot of time so does for default it is you know previous default programming so we no longer need it so do this process for office uh, it's to add all of uh, program combined programming and scheduling uh, to the to our process uh, Keeping it, it's the default programming component. As I told, you can use mix of it, and you can, you know, even uh, change a schedule. It's completely depends on your project uh, that you are working on it. So. So after finishing the schedule, uh, we need to add a track system on loads. Uh, 